works. This will be for moments when, when uh, that's not his name. You spelled his name all the way fucking wrong. No, no. G E O F F. Oh shit! It yeah, spells G- first G E. What? You guys want to? We can do a thing where you can, you can fill out what you think what um you think is going to win and then you can put an asterisk next to what you want to win if you get what won is 10 points and if you get the asterisk it's 5 points how's that you can double up on points if you, yeah. get, if you get the same one if you if you get the same one you can double up on points mm-hmm. i'll just i'll just do it honestly so so a there double one's 15 <laughs> i can't believe it either. Act, but we are very far from done. Our big show is about to begin, but don't worry, this isn't the last you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby, and I cannot wait because this show is absolutely. I don't think she's actually there. Tons of big awards, (laughs) even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredibly special guest, a legendary actor. I think she's on a green screen. Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. I that, have to admit, I think I'm good I'm now. I mean, doesn't it look like that's from two totally different cameras? I mean, she looks like she's leaning backwards. Is here to debut an exclusive new Maybe. Look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge way tonight. Okay. I mean, but there are Thank people looking at her. Yeah, but they could just be looking at a big ass camera and someone waving like, "Hey, look up here!" So it That's looks fair. like. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I work in production, my dude. <laughs> Jeff Keeley. Jeff oh. Keeley. Jeff Keeley. We love you, Jeff Keeley. We love you, Jeff Keeley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me that. Give me that. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards. <laughs> Tonight Thank is our 10th built by talented creators and teams, and many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after winning Game of the Year in 2017. <laughs> 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 who, is, who is he talking to? <laughs> talking about? One of our Start industry's Let's see if we can games. switch over to this. Thank you for being here, Mark. Of course, the team behind Ooh, Pizza look, Towers ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Like that. Look, you're on top of Jeff Keighley's head, or you were. Yes, I am. Well, I will be again. Everyone's here. <laughs> you're like a crown. You're, you're like a You're Jeff Keighley's crown. You're like, he's Welcome, like, he's a prince, and I am his crown. You're like the tonight. second head of Jeff Keighley. <laughs> the second coming of Jeff Keighley. <laughs> In God of War. Yeah. Oh God. Oh hell yes. Are we taking bet? Are we taking bets on how long his speech is? Eight minute speech. Oh. Eight minute speech. He's making it quick tonight, huh? Go. So, I'll go five. I'll go five minutes. <laughs> I'm giving him a minimum uh, ten. Dude, look at uh, the hair. Big memories of last year. <laughs> I bet you Chino. do. Forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I get it. I get it. I'm not gonna stand up here making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. No eight minute speech like last year. Oh! So fun fact. My speech you went was actually it. longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Oh. oh! Okay, five minutes into the show and shots fired. <laughs> Best performance. This says Neil New Bond. I'm sorry. Ben Star, that's my dog. I mean, I it's that's a good that's a good pick. I'm gonna be honest yeah. with you. Grown up games, you face grown up consequences. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? Wake has a double. My name's a star. He just is so amazing. Boy, yeah, I've seen I've seen some clips of him. He he's just going ham in that booth. So what do we got? What do we got? Ben Star, give me Ben Star. Whoever wins, Idris Elba didn't show up. Jeff has given me the okay to say, take as long as you want to, 
<laughs> Thank everyone who's ever missed anything in your life. And I dare you. He's I such a good dare sport. You to try to break my he wax is. record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. <laughs> and the award goes to... Ben Starr. Neil Newbar. Yo! I quit. Nah, yo! You quit now? I, oh, I can do what I want. No, man, do what I want. I indeed am. Okay, good. Because why well, am just gonna let you do that? Okay. Because I haven't been doing it up until now. We can use yours as a reference. Yeah, we're going to use Blades as a reference. There we go. I'm, I'm OCD like Hi. that. I'm not mad at this. 248 incredible actors that gave it heart and soul. Uh, to me, familiar. What did he just say? Did he just say 248 different actors? Uh, there's, there's a lot, yeah. Please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times best-selling author, Matthew McConaughey. Uh -oh. all what? Right. All, right. all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me. <laughs> they said, no, no, no. Don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, we'll see how that, how that, how that handled. Announcements of awards and musical performances ahead, including the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Woo! Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be right back. Oh, that game I was trying to remember the other day, it was something immortal something of something Asganon of something of Risen. Those are words. What up, Ed Boone? We got the boon. What's up, Ed? What up, Ed? How you doing? What is this? Do they say? Just fighting game. Oh wait. Most likely. The best but he's stories not made for. are the ones we get lost. Wouldn't that be hilarious? In. Tonight's nominees for oh. best narrative. Oh, oh best narrative. Best narrative. In their okay. drama, in their characters, and yes, sometimes in some weird stuff we can't. Okay, explain. I want Alan Wake two to win, but I said Final Fantasy would win. You know what? That's my exact. That's what I said. Yeah, because that's probably what's gonna happen. You don't think Baldur's Gate takes this one? It's, nah, their narrative was, it's it's a role-playing game. No one has the same story, so it's like... Well, Final Fantasy was also my pick. Baldur's Gate not having a linear story is what hurts it for having best narrative, for sure. It would be crazy if it did win, though. Well, we're about to find out. I did not pick it on anything. Alan Wake 2. Look at that. I, I'm i good. As hey, If it, it won it, that... It won one thing. If it won that, I was worried that Alan Wake 2 was going to get snubbed. I am so happy well, on that all one. All right. All right. I'm starting to feel now like Final Thank Fantasy so 16 much. is getting snubbed. Nah. There's... I, Alan Wake 2. Now, there's four. one thing I did pick it for, beginning. for certain, was I think... Story, yeah, folks. best score in music. Project. <laughs> Pandora. No one cares. I'm sure some people care. What, you don't care about the world of Avatar? No! <laughs> Try and lie and tell me you do! I'm not saying a <laughs> word, peasant. You are Thorin. Completely different team. Oh, um... I also saw earlier today, apparently Sega is doing something tonight. Sega. Um, to the point, like, I saw, like, a couple of uh, content creators talking about, like, they sent out, like, invitations to tune in tonight for something that they're doing. Huh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Isn't Sega getting some again? sort of, like, anniversary really? coming up or something like that? Maybe. I know it's not this, but how crazy would it be if they were just like, "Oh, this is this is what they're doing." As yeah, we're this talking is about it. it. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna shut up. Is that Sunday Drive? Jet Set Radio.
uh, Golden Axe. What's happening here? What is this? That's crazy taxi. Crazy taxi. taxi. And more. And more. Now, now in, in development. development. Power the next level. Okay. Well, I guess Sega. that was it. Just, in general, just saying, hey, we're doing stuff. <laughs> Here, we Here are get, the we nominees for best action game. Best action game. Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Dead Island 2, Ghost Runner 2, Hi Fi Rush, uh, third and page. Remnant oh. 2. And the game award goes to. Oh, Armor Core is what I got. Armored Core 6. Five I got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Score one for. I feel like that one was. Let me look at the. Before I say this. Best art direction. Oh. Hi Fi Rush, Lies of P, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Best what? Art and the game art awards direction. goes first to. Page. I don't know. Alan Wake 2. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Congrats, Remedy. I didn't get that one. The nominees for best VR AR. Oh, Grand God. Turismo 7, oh, Humanity, my. Horizon, Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil Village VR mode, and Synapse. Uh, and Grand the game award goes to Resident Got Evil that one. Village VR mode. Well done. Got that well done. one. Now your nominees for best mobile game. Mobile game. Final Fantasy 7, Ever Crisis. Honkai Star Rail. Oh, Monster it's Hunter now. It's Island easily Adventure. Honkai. Monster Hunter now. Over Monster Hunter now? Mm, we'll see. The game award goes to Honkai Star Rail. Wow, okay, all right. Legends okay. Hoyoverse. All right, we have much more game awards to come, including the first ever performance okay. by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2, and some of our big <gasps> announcements are still to come. But right now, we'd like you to... You didn't one get hyped the first time you s he said it? I didn't hear him say it. You stupid. <laughs> he called you stupid. Did I deserve to be called stupid? You didn't hear Old Gods of Asgard Look, the first I was thing. doing a lot. I don't know when he said it, okay? There's been a lot going on. How about I get out of the way and y'all fight? Is this just a general advertisement for Starfield? We gonna get Todd Howard? God, I hope not. Uh, please, please don't bring Todd Howard out. I want to hear some sweet little lies. <laughs> oh my God, Skull and Bones! Oh my God, <laughs> Skull and Bones! What? Coming February sixteenth! Bull crap! Get hyped! Are you hyped? Eh. <laughs> Are you hyped? No. Lock up tight now. Nice just. Is that Blade? Oh, what? Man. What? what? <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Best on oh, oh my God! Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> Why are we presented? The, the weird stuff. Okay, fine. Let me put it this way. Uh, I, I want Final Fantasy fourteen to win. That's who I pick. But I, Genshin Impact's gonna win, cause duh. Uh, so I didn't see that. So, I wanted Cyberpunk to win, but I put Fortnite. I'll give it to you. I might. But y'all, y'all have... I will give it to Genshin Impact. Though. But I'll okay. I'll give it to you guys. You so you do cool have a uh, valid points for this moment. Um, all right. So the game award goes to shut up, <laughs> shut up. Cyberpunk twenty seven. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. okay. I didn't see that coming. Okay. Right. I didn't see that coming. All right. I'm how not does, mad at it. How does point, that happen? Point for me. How, how is Cyberpunk 2077 continued, considered an ongoing game? Because basically since its launch, it has had to absolutely put in so much work to get in good back with its fans. So technically, this award is kind of sad. A bit. But <laughs> it is now, I can say at this point, it is now, it's now a good game. But you know, the same exact argument for Cyberpunk could have been made for Final Fantasy XIV as well. Final Fantasy XIV is an online game. It's an ongoing game. 
Yeah, that's 14. But the same exact principle, what he just said about all the work they had to do to Cyberpunk, is exact. They had to basically, like, shut Final Fantasy 14 down and relaunch it. Yeah, but this is not multiplayer. This game's not multiplayer. This shouldn't have ongoing updates forever. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, uh, whichever, it's an, is an online MMO. I mean, Doesn't matter. They're still both nominated for it, and they both have the same backstory. I, I, Horrible I, launches basically had to be just like redone from scratch. I mean, it doesn't matter whether or not one or the other it, shouldn't have been there. They're both there, and I, they both have the same backstory. I don't, I don't see how that's the same backstory at all. One is an MMO. One is a single. It doesn't player matter game. what genre they are. It kind of does because that's what ongoing game means. But it, but Cyberpunk nonetheless is there. I know. I'm not arguing whether or not it should be there. I'm arguing. I'm arguing the fact that they're both there, and they both had the same development cycle. So, what is your point? My point is the exact reason why he said that Cyberpunk won it uh-huh. could have been argued for Final Fantasy XIV. Did you just want to argue for Final Fantasy XIV? I don't understand. Just let I was just making a statement. You're the one arguing. Okay. God bless. It's a really weird statement to come from out of nowhere. I'm just... No. He sat there and said it had a horrible launch. Okay. It was screwed up. Uh huh. And they basically had to do a whole bunch of work to win back over the fan base. And I just simply said the exact same thing happened to Final Fantasy XIV, peasant. Okay. That was all I was saying. You started the argument. All right. You good? I guess. What's wrong with him? You understood what I was getting at, right? Yes. Thank you. That's all that matters Did at this point. Did you honestly? Yes. Yeah. What do you think's powering in your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing. I was gonna be stupid and say a PC. Wow. Streaming on GeForce now. Oh. oh, that's cute. I would never have guessed that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. You're gonna look into getting a new Chromebook? Uh, no, because I could just stream on any other laptop I have. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor. And I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring that best selling. Oh, oh, oh. This is Herald of Darkness. All right. Okay. Here are the nominees for best RPG. Here we go. Same Baldur's page. Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Lies I double down on Baldur's Gate Stars 3. Baldur's Gate's going to get it. I want Final Fantasy yeah. to get it. Goes to I mean, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. All that. I mean, when it's the Here the Dungeons and Dragons the video game. Sim strategy game. The best Advanced Sim strategy. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 reboot camp. City Skylines 2. With Pikmin 4 3, and City Skylines 2. And City of Skylines 4. was an absolute mess. Oh, to was it? Yeah. Pikmin 4. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. I did not Here get that. Here are nominees for best sports racing game. EA Sports FC 24. I picked Forza. Yeah, Forza. Forza Motorsport. Yeah, Forza. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbo Charge. And the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, Kurt Tatt. The nominees for Best Multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, and Super Mario Bros. 1. I want Diablo to win, but it's a goes to Diablo's. Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. It seems good presented by this. Here are the nominees for our Players' Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. Is this fans. on here? Baldur's I didn't Gate see 3. it on here. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Baldur's Gate 3. Legend Impact, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, uh. and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Congratulations, Lariat. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Okay. Oh, it's Baldur's Gate. Most likely. I think it's Alan Wake too. Oh, that's yeah. We might. It, it, it's got a chance now. Yeah. Now that I've been seeing it get some awards. I went double in for Alan Wake too. Oh, I I won't be mad. Alan Wake 2. Okay. Oh! 
He got it right. There he is. Yeah. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Blue guy. Blue guy. Oh, where's it at? Blue guy. <laughs> Wait, are we? There's your. There's your. Uh, there's your third one. There's your third one there for go. the night, Jeff. There we go. There we go. There, there, there we go. Third All right, one. we got it. Third we love you, flute guy. Yep. And Jeff Keeley. And Jeff Keeley. <laughs> Thank you for giving us flute guy. All right. Is Alan Wake two on this? Or Baldur's Gate three on this? Yeah, I yes. Got, I got. I got Baldur's Gate three is what I think's gonna win, but I want Alan Wake two to win. Well, we'll see. I mean, if Baldur's Gate look at Flute Guy, look at Flute Guy. Oh go. my God! Look at Flute Guy. Flute go. Guy, go! Yes, sir. Baldur's Gate Three. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. We knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. I would just like to say, if Baldur's Gate Three didn't win, I would, I personally would think it would be a huge loss to yeah. the players of video games, since this was like the first game in a long time to actually be released with basically no bugs that actually worked. We got a full game on release. It was a that's, really big deal. That's fair. Okay. All right, what do you need? Uh oh, Ooh, I'm sorry. It's all right. My, my apologies. All right. all right. All right, what do you need, Blade? Um, what how, what are the points is like for what actually- Okay, okay, okay. okay. When, what you, what actually, what, if you got what won, that is 10 points. 10 points. If what you wanted to win won, yeah. that's five points, five points. And you could have doubled up if you went for it. Okay, sir. And then. All right. Speaking of winners. Uh huh. So we want to go this way or this way? Yeah, we, we, whichever, whichever we want. All right. Blade? Uh, I got with a grand total of 225. Okay. You beat me by about a hundred points because I got one twenty-five. Hmm. <sighs> Told you. Two hundred. Well, it depends. I mean, I think every year we debate it. Just two hundred. Just two hundred. Wow. You, okay. You pulled ahead somehow. Nice. <laughs> like, All right. Very nice. I, I told you I was feeling pretty confident. Dang, tonight. man. Yeah. So I when I, when I, I saw two hundred, I thought I had this in the bag. Mm -mm. So. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2023 Peasants Couch Game Awards tournament. Well, I don't know what do we was this a tournament? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever this was, you so get this to, was a tournament. What did I win? You get to pick the next video idea that we make. Not there the next go. thing we put up, but the very next thing we make. All the coming next from your thing head. we make. The next thing that we shoot. The next thing that we video comes from your head. And this is whether it's just like a video essay or a couch co-op or whatever, right? Oh my god, a video essay coming from Blade. That would interesting be... Interesting idea. Huh. Okay. Mean, you you made these rules. Okay. I, yeah, very off the spot, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll that, sit on that. Can I just yeah. say that, please, like, that could totally cripple me just in the fact that if you take so long that we go, like, a year without ever shooting a video I'll again. give you. I'll give you an idea pretty soon. <laughs> Thank hold on, hold on. you.